This is it in all its glory. Archbang winner. It's open box, so you get the uh, right click menu. There is no menu set up anywhere, but uh, I am gonna go ahead and set up one just to make everything easier to use. So, let's see, I'll go to panel, edit the panel. And now I'm just gonna keep it simple. All right, there you go, I'm gonna go to panel items, grab a button, bring it over, and add another one. Just slowly move it up. Just for some reason, you can use some weird errors. All right, so button number one, just call it menu. And since this system already has Rofi installed, I'm just gonna activate it. Rofi, show, D-Run, show, icons. And this is an option that I've never used before, so let me see what happens when I do that. And right now I'm gonna change the text color to, uh, change it to white, because right now it's be black. All right, select that, hit apply. Ah, I put the menu in the wrong spot. So this goes there where it says text. All right, so there you go. So now when I click this, all right, I'm gonna remove run. It's not acting right. Or at least that's not what I wanted to do. Or well, maybe it is. All right, now let me change the theme. Basically on here, you can see everything that's installed on here. So, well, since that takes over the whole screen, I'm just gonna change it to this. All right, it's more simple and straightforward. All right, now that that's done, I can go ahead and Close this and close that. And we can start looking at the system. Oh, nope, I'm wrong again. So one of the first things I need to do is uh, install some software. So I think what I wanna do is install ARNR. and r Pseudo, Pac-Man, S. Render. Okay, so I need to do a SY first before I do anything. So I'll do a SY. And then I'm gonna do a SYU. Now I'm upgrading the system real quick. All 
There's not too many files that are uh, uploaded, so it shouldn't take that long. Okay, it says error occurred. Key ring is not writable. Okay. Do a control C on that. The Firefox. What the problem, yo? Error key ring is not writable. Pack strap error. All right, we'll go through this. Okay, this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna pause the video now and I'll see you when I, everything is completed. And I fixed the issue with the key ring, so uh, I'll leave all these commands that I use down in the video description with the uh, homepage and download link for this. So I uh, should be able to install whatever I need now. So I'll go ahead and close this page and I'll clear the terminal. And what I wanted to install was render so I can fix my uh, screen resolution. So let me do a pseudo pacman dash capital S. No, a render, duh. There we go. All right, now that a render is installed, I want to go into my file manager. Uh, I'm going to do control, control H to show hidden files, get into my config, open the folder that says open box, and on auto start, I'm going to open it with the leaf pad. And in here, I'm just going to add the fix for the uh, screen resolution. So that'll be XR and R dash s 1920 by 1080 ampersand and save ah, i can close this well actually let me copy this command and i can close this <clears throat> close this open up rofi and just paste the command in there All right, I'm done with that. All right, so it's gonna have a weird wallpaper for right now, but I don't want this video to drag on forever. So basically, like I said, it's a open box. Uh, so this is the 10-2 panel. And then click it on the right screen, right click it on the screen, opens up your menu, gives you your options. So you have a terminal, browser, file manager, editor, and then applications. So you can see there's not really a whole bunch of applications here, so. Just have your standard open box and standard settings that come with it. So it's a real light system. So let's take a look at a folder, see what we're using here. And it's like a Stunar 418.10. And that's your file manager. And we already saw the browser, but now let's take a look at the about on it. And Let's see what version we're running. And it is Firefox 121.0.1. .1. And our terminal is Alacrity. So uh, that's it. Let's see if we have HTOP installed. And we do. And our memory right now is at 491 megs. So it's real low. And the averages are real low also. So yeah. Like I said, there's hardly anything on this system. so. There's no reason for it to have a high uh, workload. Ah, now I need to check to see if we got NeoFetch. And they do, and you can see right here, we are running Arch Linux, kernel 6.6.10, and the window manager is OpenBox. All right, so these are your main applications that are uh, pinned down here in your task uh, in your system bar, system tray. Well, those are your uh, main applications that are pinned to the panel down here in the uh, system tray. So the gray area is actually the system tray. These are just pinned items that are on the panel. 
they're just located at this side of the panel. All right. So if we open up Rofi, we can look right here. I just installed AR and R, but these are the basic applications that are on here. You got it about network configurations, bulky bulk rename. That's going to be our Thunar and Conkey is right here. And then we have HTOP, LeafPad, your configuration manager, some QT apps, removable drives and media, Rofi, Thunar, 10.2 settings, Vim. And is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's not really a lot of software on here, but what we can do is uh, we can open up Alacrity again. And now that uh, we got the key rings fixed, we can actually start installing uh, regular programs. So I'm gonna go ahead and install a few programs just to make it look like a, a regular distro. So one of the first things I wanna install is gonna be, uh, let's see, we need something to watch. Let's just do VLC. VLC, Rhythm Box. And we'll do LibreOffice. And let's see, what else do we need? Standard tools that we need. I guess we need a image viewer of some type. View noir. I think I spelled it wrong, but we'll find out right now. Uh, let me see, I got a media player, music player, office, image viewer. Let's do GIMP. And we'll just leave it at that. Oh no, I'm gonna do nitrogen also because we're gonna fix that wallpaper. All right, so LibreOffice Fresh and VNR is not found. There we go. Okay, everything's installed now, so uh, let's get back to our, uh, well, the first thing I'm gonna fix is this damn screen right here. So uh, I guess what I wanna look for is nitrogen. And set this to zoom fill, preferences, add, and let's navigate to our backgrounds folder. So be user share and we nope we don't have a background for it. Huh. Oh, there you go. Select okay and it just has this one. So click on it, apply, and that's fixed now. So now that I got the wallpaper fixed, I'll go back into my uh, config folder, open up open box. Uh, open this for leaf pad and I'll remove this and I'll add nitrogen dash dash restore ampersand and I noticed it didn't have an ampersand so that's probably why it was failing but who knows all right so that's done I'm going to save this so that way every time you uh Boot in, boot out, it'll be fixed. So let me just test that real quick. So I'll go ahead and I'll reboot real quick. Booyah, and it's fixed. Wallpaper opens up properly, everything. All right, so we'll just install some software. So let's take a look and see uh, the software that we installed. So I'll do the... Uh, applications this way to make it easier to find so let's see nitrogen we already saw that but uh in graphics we, we have GIMP so this would be our photo editor and being that it's arch base it should be the latest one but uh I've been surprised plenty of times so let's just confirm it 2.10.36 and it looks like it is the latest one and we don't have the button for uh, checking for updates, so. All right, so that's GIMP. 
All right, now let's check out our uh, image viewer. So go back to graphics and view more. And just a simple image viewer right here. So, uh, you know, you have your zoom options, next image, all that. And you have your uh, settings right here where you can open up the image, you can open up a folder. This is where you can do your save, edit, view image, all of that. So, and on the about, we have View Noir 1.8. Elegant Image Viewer. It's very lightweight and it's very efficient. And if I get back to the applications, let's see under Internet. Office. Let's take a look at the LibreOffice. This is another program that I just installed, and I installed it with all of the uh, all of the options, everything: Calc, Writer, Impress, Draw, Math, and Base. And we do the about 7.6.4.1. All right, what else did I install? I think it was a VLC and Rhythmbox. So let's take a look at Rhythmbox first. Rhythmbox being our uh, music uh, app. So right here, you can uh, open up a queue. You can open up your uh, music folders and all that. Then you have a hamburger menu over here where you have the about and Rhythmbox 3.4.7. All right, and I think the last application to take a look at is gonna be VLC, our media player. And this is VLC. Pretty powerful media player you can open up pretty much anything that uh, is a media type whether it be a video audio and some other things and on the about is 3.0.20 veterinary and on the build build user at December 19 2023 all right that's VLC all right, well, this is uh, Archbang. It's called Archbang Winter. It's a uh, open box on an Arch system, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just a couple things, just like the uh, the key ring. There's an issue with the key ring, so uh, I'll put the codes in the video description to fix the key ring. And once you fix that, then everything should work uh, like normal. And then there was another little issue with the background something wrong with Faye, I didn't want to zoom properly, or maybe I was just doing it wrong, just because I was reading reading real quick through and just wanted to do it in a hurry. So what I did is I just went and installed a nitrogen and set that up as my wallpaper manager, and that fixed it, no problem. But yeah, pretty good system, very lightweight. And like I said, the only problem was a key ring problem, but once you fix that, smooth sailing. All right, you guys. That's gonna do it for this video. So uh, like I said, I'll leave the, the codes to fix the key ring in the video description, along with the uh, website and download link for uh, Archbang. All right, you guys, and I'm out.